Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. Today I'm going to give you an overview of WooCommerce and Avada. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with WooCommerce, how it integrates with Avada, and how you can use a combination of custom shop pages and Avada layouts to create your own personalized online shop. WooCommerce is the world's most popular open source e-commerce solution and is developed by the Automatic team. This makes it part of the WordPress ecosystem and so integration with WordPress is seamless. There is also a deep level of design integration with Avada, offering you many options for customization. WooCommerce is an e-commerce plugin with a huge range of options and extensions, so this will not be an extensive tutorial on how to use it, but rather an overview of how it integrates with the Avada website builder. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. It all starts with installing WooCommerce, and here you can let Avada do all the hard work for you. If you run the Avada setup wizard when you install Avada, and choose either a shop-based pre-built website, or add a shop to the features of a new site, the Avada setup wizard does the heavy lifting for you, installing WooCommerce, creating a layout for your WooCommerce products, and basically setting up a full skeleton shop system ready for you to customize. See our video on how to use the Avada setup wizard for full details on what this approach offers. Alternatively, you can just install the plugin and do the whole setup yourself. Either way, you're going to have to go through and configure the settings to set up a real shop. You can find these at WooCommerce Settings. Setting up a shop can be a big task, with tax and shipping and payments, and you may even need additional plugins depending on your needs. But the WooCommerce documentation is extensive, and so there is a lot of help to be had. But basically, you need to install and configure WooCommerce, add your products, and control how the shop and products look on the front end. And that's really where Avada comes in. If we take a look at what the setup wizard has created for us, it will be a good place to understand how Avada integrates with WooCommerce. As we can see here, the setup wizard has created a custom shop page with a product slider at the top here with dummy products, an offers section below this, and a full product grid underneath. This is built using the Avada Builder and a range of postcards displaying the Woo products. It's a much more flexible option than just using the default WooCommerce shop grid. And of course I could customize this page however I wanted to from here. For more information on building a custom shop page, please see the linked video. If I come into a product, this is using a custom layout coming from Avada Layouts. And if I add this to the cart and then view the cart, we are on a custom cart page, put together in the Avada Builder from a range of our Woo design elements. Likewise, if we proceed to the checkout, this page has been built using the same method. So the shop, cart and checkout are all single pages that have been edited directly and customized with our design elements, while the products and product archives are using conditional layouts to control their design. Using this method gives you the most flexibility with your design and allows you to have a truly unique shop flow. The setup wizard even creates a Woo thank you page layout so you can create a custom Woo thank you page for your clients. Check out the linked video on that below. Okay, at the heart of WooCommerce are the products. Let's take a quick look at how to manage your products. Editing a product, we can see an editor at the very top. This is for the product full description. You can use the Avada Builder for your products if you wish, but like blog posts, it's generally recommended to just add raw content and let the layout do the heavy lifting for you. If you do want to use the builder, just go to Options, Builder Options from the Avada dashboard, and then scroll down to Post Types and select Product and then click on Save Options. Under the editor is the Product Data panel, where you can set a range of attributes for the product, including price. Under this panel is a second place for a description, this time the Product Short Description which typically shows at the top of the product. Below this is a review panel, and then there are the Avada page options. As we are using layouts, most of these options are not relevant in this situation. Down the right hand side of the product, we can see a product image panel, and below this a product gallery panel if you want to add multiple images to a product. Below this is the product categories panel to help you organize your product categories, as well as a product tags panel, just like a blog post. OK, so let's look at the product on the front end, being displayed through the product layout. Here we can see the featured image on the left, and any additional images, 
and on the right there is the product name, a price, and the option to leave a review, followed by the short description and a quantity and add to cart button. Below this is the full description and a place for users to add and read reviews if that is enabled. At the very bottom there is a related products section. OK, so now let's look at how Avada Layouts is controlling the layout of this page. If we just head to the Layouts page, we can see there is a layout called Product Single. There is a Product Single Content Layout section attached to this layout, with the condition specifying that it is to be used on all products. There is plenty of documentation on video on layouts and layout sections, and I will link some under this video. But basically, to generate a custom template for Woo products, we just need to design and attach a content layout section to a conditional layout that's going to be used on Woo products. Let's quickly edit this layout section in the Avada Builder so you can see how it was put together. As you can see in the Navigator, this template is built with a range of elements to create a custom design. There are both specific Woo layout elements, as well as other design elements displaying dynamic data. See the linked video for more information on how to create a product layout. There are also two more Woo Commerce layouts here, for the Product Archives and the Thank You page I mentioned earlier. Check out the linked videos for more information on these type of layouts. Finally, there are a couple of WooCommerce panels in the global options called General WooCommerce and WooCommerce Styling. But these are mostly for the default WooCommerce setup, so when using the custom page and layout method, virtually none of these options are in play. To get a really good idea of how WooCommerce can be used together with Avada, do yourself a favour and check out the various Avada pre-built websites that use WooCommerce. If I head to avada.website and filter the pre-built websites to shop WooCommerce only, we can see there are more than 20 sites that take advantage of WooCommerce, and there are always more on the way. WooCommerce is an amazing e-commerce platform, and hand-in-hand -hand with Avada, it's a great foundation for a fantastic online store. And with this video, I'm sure you can see how this awesome plugin works together with Avada to help you set up a truly powerful and flexible e-commerce platform. OK, this concludes our overview of WooCommerce and Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.